All right, guys, this is um, a Chase Bay uh, clutch line tuck to get rid of that big ass one. So, this is on any D or B series. Uh, same shit for if you got H2B, whatever. I got a B20B. Um, so, see, it, this is goes from the clutch. You got this hard line, then it goes to rubber. So, plus, you, you know, a lot of pressure right here. And then go back to hard line. So Chase Bay, they sent me a delete. So pretty much hella easy. You just unscrew it from here. Uh, you should take out your intake because it gets in the way when you're trying to pull it out. So it deletes. So I have it going here under my solid mount. I it tucked to the back. This is my setup, B20B. It's actually tuned. A lot of skunk two parts. Uh, rebuilt the whole motor. It has um, pretty much everything. It was boosted a long time ago. That's why I have these bent valve cover things so pretty much you just unscrew it here this goes on top you use two washers and then put the line I have mine tucked nicely underneath the manifold it goes all the way to the back underneath the, the um, trans mount and over here so that's pretty much it honestly it's just more taking the old one it's longest and took longer just to bleed the clutch and the easiest way to bleed the clutch man get in your car pump the clutch pedal scoot your driver's seat forward use any pull or top part of the, i just use the top piece right here and you shove it between your seat and the clutch pedal they come over here mine's a nine so you bust it loose and slowly get the air out tighten it back up go to the clutch pedal pump it pump it pump it put the jack uh, pull back in there come over here pop it Keep checking on your reservoir, you know, make sure it's nice and full. Mine, I like bleeding it out because look, now it's all nice and clean. Get rid of all that nasty shit. And see, that's another thing bad about uh, rubber lines. I've actually bled this out four times completely dry, no matter how much I've done it. Once I put new clutch fluid in, I bled it and I checked it a couple days later. It was fucking back to being nasty as like a blackish color because a lot of sludge and shit builds up right there in that fucking rubber line. So. Big shout out to Chase Bays. I love them. You know, I'm going to get a lot more shit from them. So, this is actually in California. We have to have our cars barred, or you do a hot smog, you know, a legal smog. So, this car is actually barred through California. It's not hard. They, they changed the laws a, while, a long time ago because they found out that you can use all the B18B components off of LS for a B20. The trick is on 96 to 2000. You have to use a crank position sensor, so you have to change, use like, you know, uh, OBD2 and up oil pump off of LS or B20. And then you just, um, you know, uh, stretch out a couple wires. You gotta change the sensor on a, from a Y8 harness. I stretched the O2 in the back. So I got the O2 here and I got the O2 in the back. I don't have the cat because I have actually jumped and tuned the OBD1. But this one's actually all barred. Yeah, see, it's actually all barred. So in California, and I actually have it. I have it actually all jumped and tuned. Actually, see, to my boy uh, Tony Yang out in Elk Grove, he tuned it. So that's pretty much it.